Welcome back Storm fans, my name is Brent Cook and today for the first time on this YouTube channel I will be playing Dream Halls in Legacy. Well what is Dream Halls right? Well it's a 5 mana enchantment, 3 blue blue and then each player can discard a card from their hand and cast another spell as long as it shares a color. Each player, so that means it's symmetrical. Your opponent could discard a brainstorm to cast force will for example against you. So this card does have a drawback unlike something like omniscience. Well, unlike Omniscience, you can actually cast it off of things like Ancient Tomb, your Basic Islands, and even Lotus Petal. So you're more likely to be able to execute your combo, which is pretty sweet. But you might have noticed that I said it shares a color, or that's part of the restriction. So you can't discard a Lotus Petal to then play Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. That's not how this card works. Colorless isn't a color, not really anyway. And that doesn't work. So there's no copies of Emrakul the Aeon's Torn in this video. But instead, we can play sweet cards like Apex Devastator and cast it by discarding a Carpet of Flowers. Or a Troxa Grand Unifier from Frexia All Will Be One. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Or if you're into CEDH, you can discard Maelstrom Wanderer to play a Troxa as well. Or you could just play it by discarding a Veil of Summer. There are so many sweet things that you can do with this deck, and it's made possible by the fact that you can actually hardcast Dream Halls, especially off of things like Carpet of Flowers against blue matchups. Obviously, you have your show and tells. It's a pillar of legacy combo at this point, and that's another way to cheat the powerful enchantments into play. Um, yeah, and I mean, this deck is really made powerful or made possible by having a Trox in the format, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the core of this deck. You just want to play large creatures, attack with Maelstrom Wanderer. Uh, you do have a fair plan with Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath, and the Cyborg copies of Mendelian Click. They both synergize somewhat well with Caracas, too, which is pretty sweet. In the Cyborg, we have Dress Down for the Thassa's Oracle decks, or even Cephalid Breakfast. We have additional copies of Carpet of Flowers versus those pesky fair blue decks. Veil of Summer is very good right now in Legacy. There's a lot of black decks running around with Grief Reanimate. A lot of Storm combos starting to come back. I think that Veil makes quite a bit of sense. I'm a big fan of Endurance. Leon, thank you for the donation deck. I almost forgot. I really do appreciate it. However, you submitted a Null Rod. Are you mad at me? Why would you put this card in the deck list? I mean, there had to be some sort of reason. Other than the fact that it's good against the Epic Storm, or like 8-cast, I mean, you must just be furious with me for some reason. I don't know what I did, but I apologize. Then we also have uh, Crossing Grip. I think I'd almost rather see another copy of Besaju Who Endures in that spot, but I'm not going to die on any hills. So that is the deck. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. I'm sure Leon will be in there viewing those. I'll do my best to answer them, but this is my first time ever playing the deck. So I don't really have a whole lot of experience. I'll do my best to answer what I can, but I'm not the expert. So hopefully you enjoy this video and uh, I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsroom.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We're on the draw and well double basic forest in our blue show and tell dream halls deck a little bit awkward here. We also have ancient tomb. No dream halls, no show and tell. I think we're supposed to mulligan despite having force of will. Okay so here we have a bunch of really powerful cards. I think we're supposed to keep this. I'm not really sure. We'll keep and put back the Maelstrom Wanderer. We already have two payoffs for Dream Halls or Show and Tell, so I don't think you really need to keep anything else. Also, one with the Multiverse is sort of an interesting card to see play over Omniscience. So you can look at the top card of your deck at any point, which is, you know, free information, whatever. You can play lands and spells from the top of your deck, which is kind of sweet. So I believe... And I, I won't know until I try it, but I believe you can cast spells using Dream Halls off the top of your deck. That's pretty cool. I've never really seen this card before uh, receiving this donation deck, so I'm not sure if it's better or worse than Omniscience, but I'm here to try it out. Our opponent plays a Mox Diamond Discard's Thespian Stage. 
So likely land. We did ask for non-blue, and there's a dream hall, so let's go. Okay. I'm going to play out the Sylvan Library and just try to gain cards in hand. Cards at any cost. Ouch. All right, Sylvan. Sylvan Library resolves and we'll pass the turn. They play another copy of Mox Diamond, discards Maze of Ith. If they have a crop rotation, they have lethal. And they do. Okay. So we need to be a Merit Lodge here. Turn to 2020 Indestructible. There is another Atroxa. We'll look at the Sylvan. Yes, I would like to trigger it. That will not do it. Okay, we can concede. Bummer. Outraced by lands. We don't need Veil of Summer here. We don't need the Carpet of Flowers. Hmm. None of these cards actually seem that great in our sideboard for this specific matchup. Maybe you just bring in two copies of Vanillion Click as a flying blocker. We can try that. Dress Down Cycles, so that's also like okay. I don't really have strong opinions. You could also try Kroos and Grip for like their spheres. Game number two, we're on the play. We have Dream Halls, but the rest of this hand is extremely clunky. Also, double basic forest. Uh, I know sample size of two, but not a big fan. Okay, so this hand technically plays magic, but not really. So we're going to mulligan. Sure, we'll keep this, I suppose. We'll get rid of Force of Will and Lotus Petal. Five cards against lands. All right, so I played a Misty Rainforest. They played a Windswept Heath into Basic Forest, Exploration, and Urza's Saga. They have five in hand. Ponder, that's a good one. We'll shuffle that. Okay, so we could use a Show and Tell now. Ancient Tomb, Yavamaya, Sphere Resistance. That's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Draw. We have one Besageo in our deck that answers this. They make a construct with Urza's Saga. And now the Saga will happen. They're going to make another construct. Let's tap this for a green, blue, brainstorm. We found the show and tell. Put back, turn timber, and maybe dream halls? I like that Vendillion Click is a blocker, so I think I'm going to keep that in this spot. Like, Dream Halls doesn't seem great when there's a Sphere Resistance in play, so I don't want it. And then we'll fetch, grab a basic. Rashad and Port. They grab a Life from the Loam, okay. And Urza's Saga is back. It's worth mentioning that they did grab a Haywire Might, so they might think that we're Omnitel. Time for a little bit of show and tell. All right, show and tell resolves. Atroxa will enter the battlefield. The trigger happens, and we'll get one card of each type. So, what do we take here? Well, Lotus Petal is artifact, enchantment in Sylvan Library, sorcery with Ponder, Besage you for land, and Arrow for creature, instant for brainstorm. Okay, that wasn't bad. And they're going to fetch with Windswept Heath for a Taiga. Crop rotation for Caracas. This is a pain. Yep, this is not good for me. They bounce the Atroxa. You've got it. Discard Sylvan Library and Arrow. Uh, okay, I think we're done now. So they just dredged their life from the loam, and they hit Wasteland, Wasteland. And they have a Rashad and Port. Brutal. And another Sphere. I think that this is just bullying at this point. All right, I, we'll take a draw and then concede. All right, well, we got crushed in round number one. Hopefully not every game is like that or every match is like that. So we're 0-1, still four matches left. I'm sure we'll get to do the thing. 
Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the draw. I mean, we have Dream Halls, we have Force of Will. Let's try it out. When it plays Underground Sea and passes. Snow Covered Island, pass. Included Delta. Not really sure what they're up to quite yet. Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. They play another copy of Underground Sea. And Tropical Island, Leovold. Well, I will at least cast the Brainstorm. Another Dream Halls. Let's get rid of this Turn Timber and Dream Halls number two. And I think I'm going to allow this to happen. We'll fetch. We'll grab a basic. Draw for turn. We'll ponder. I don't get to draw the card this turn, but I do get to sculpt. We don't want any of these, I don't think. We'll shuffle. Play the Misty, pass the turn. They have four cards in hand. On their end step, we'll fetch again. I suppose we can grab the other basic forest here. So the reason that you have two basic forests is primarily for Uro, I would have to imagine. Um, so it seems sort of free to grab it. Ancient Tomb, ouch. Dream Halls. They played a Force of Will pitching Baleful Strix. We will Force of Will pitching Maelstrom Wanderer. They have two in hand. Dream Halls. I will cast Atroxa discarding Uro. I wonder if I can escape from the graveyard. I'm sure we're about to find out. Okay, so Atroxa is the only creature, so we can take that. Ponder. And then Dream Halls for Sorcery. Instant Land. I believe that's every type. No, I cannot escape from the graveyard. Okay. Um, let's cast Atroxa again. Discard Brainstorm. We'll keep the original Atroxa. Maelstrom Wanderer, Lotus Petal. And our opponent concedes. Sweet. Dream Halls 2 OP. You weren't allowed to hard cast an Omniscience there, but because Dream Halls only cost 5, we were able to do the thing. I think in this matchup, you definitely want Carpet of Flowers over things like Lotus Petal. You likely want Veil of Summer as well. And I think I kind of want to take out the Uros. Let's hit Submit. I just don't think we're going to be able to out-grind or out-fair the fair decks. Game number two, keep, 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 keep. Opponent with a fast mulligan to five. I think I would actually prefer to see... Seagate Restoration in this deck over the Turn Timbers. This card like seems kind of not good to me, if I'm being honest, where when you're winning, Seagate Restoration seems incredibly good. There might be something I don't understand about the card. Uh, I guess you get to dig out Atroxes or things with this. Yeah, that's probably the reason. Maybe I'm undervaluing it a little bit. And here they have Grief removing Grief with two cards left in hand. It'll be interesting to see what they choose. And they chose show and tell. Okay. Draw for turn and it's brainstorm. Carpet of flowers. Go to our second main phase. Add a blue. Brainstorm. We'll hide these two on top. Pass. Brainstorm from the opponent. Misty rainforest and they're passing the turn. Carpet will make no mana here. Let's ponder. A lot of lands in there. Am I crazy if I shuffle this? I think I'm going to. Apex Devastator. Let's ponder. Okay. Let's keep this. They grab a bayou. They drop the three cards. They have two in hand. I have a feeling that one of them is a counter spell. Yes, we'll make blue mana. But I think here we're just hardcasting the Dream Halls. You have two cards. Also, 
I'm incredibly excited here to potentially be able to um, cast Apex Devastator off of Dream Halls. Do you have back-to-back -back dazes? Come on. No, you don't. You don't want to do that. Three mana for a hard cast force negation. Okay. Bummer. We'll pass the turn. They ponder. Underground Seas. That brings me up to six mana. Amnitorok is brutal. Okay. Misty Rainforest. Play it and pass. We're both in top deck mode. No! What a rip! <laughs> okay. Oh, that hurts. Um, sure, we'll fetch. Grab a tropical. See what we can find. Can I cast this? I believe I can. We'll add your bread. Okay. Wait, am I one mana short? I think I am. Yeah, I'm one mana short. Okay. Draw. That does give me one mana. Now I'm at four life. Maelstrom Wander. Cascades twice. Play Dream Halls. And Ponder. Okay, this is actually pretty good. So, Atraxa goes on the bottom. Devastator in the middle, and we'll draw a Veil of Summer. And the Maelstrom Wanderer is on defense. They're attacking. We'll go to blocks. What else do you have? A discard spell wins them the game here. Korok. Okay. So now we'll draw the Apex Devastator. Make green, I guess. We'll cast the Devastator by discarding Veil of Summer. And then we're going to cascade into Atroxa. <laughs> oh, this is wild. Yes, I'd like to cast Atroxa. We will take Brainstorm, Carpet of Flowers, Atroxa, Caracas. I believe that's one of every type. Okay. And now the other Cascade, I can respond by casting another Brainstorm. Put another Atroxa on top. Cast the Atroxa. Keep this one. Maelstrom Wanderer. One with the Multiverse. Ponder. I guess we'll take a Fetch Land that I can't use unless I want to die. And then Veil of Summer. Okay. Now a random Cascade. Sure, we'll play a Sylvan. And now one more Cascade. Another Atroxa. Okay. Land. Enchantment. Instant. Sorcery. And now we have an Apex Devastator. I will cast a Maelstrom Wanderer by discarding a Carpet of Flowers. Show and tell. No, I don't need to cast that. Turn Timber. Sure. We whiffed. Okay. 21 cards left in our deck. Let's cast one with the multiverse. We'll discard Dream Halls. I'm not, I don't know why I'm making their Torox so big, but I am. We'll cast a carpet. And I can discard a card to Dream Halls to play this Apex Devastator. I will not play a Force of Will. And our opponent concedes. Yes. We got to do the thing. All right. Well, that was an awesome match number two. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the third match. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Let's go! Match number three. Show and tell? Okay. I'm into this. We'll keep. Looks like our opponent's taking a mulligan down to six. Prismatic Vista. We'll go search out a snow-covered island and play Ponder. It seems like a pretty good show and tell card. Let's, uh... Do it. So we have turn two show and tell. 
Ancient Tomb. Lotus Petal. Uh-oh, what's happening here? Chalice of the Void for one, okay. So assuming that everything resolves, we can play Show and Tell, put in one with the multiverse, and then cast Apex Devastator. Okay, so we're now in our main phase, Ancient Tomb. Show and Tell. One with the multiverse. Caves of Chaos Adventure, okay. So they gain the initiative, they will search their deck for a basic. How do we feel about an Apex Devastator? Uh, I guess I can cast a Ponder. Okay, next one. Atroxa, that one's pretty good. Okay, so let's take Beseju, Maelstrom Wanderer, Show and Tell, Force of Will. I believe that's one of each type. So we now can cast Uro. We'll put in a Misty Rainforest. And now I can fetch away this Ponder before we cascade into it. Holy moly, Maelstrom Wanderers on top? I love it. Yes, I would love to... Oh, and a show and tell. Okay. We're definitely comboing here. Um, Do I have anything good to put in play? No, because I'm already putting a Maelstrom Wanderer into play. But the opponent's had enough. Yeah, take your Chalice of the Voids and get out of here. Just go. I guess we'll bring in the Corrosing Grip and Dress Down. We don't need Carpet. We don't need Veil of Summer. We have one card to cut, so it's either the second Sylvan or the, the third Uro, in my opinion. And I think against Initiative, it's probably the Sylvan. That was an incredibly sweet turn to win. Yeah, I will obviously keep this. I am here to party. Caracas, Lotus Petal, and they pass. Okay, we will fetch Island. Ponder. I like all of these. Keep the Dream Halls. Play the Lotus Petal and we'll pass. City of Traders into Anointed Peacekeeper. Okay. So they can name Show and Tell here, which is kind of obnoxious. And they do. We'll play the Sylvan Library, pass the turn. We just need more mana now. Four mana. For a seasoned Dungeoneer. They grab their basic planes, they play it, and now they'll attack for three, bringing me to 16. All right, draw. Let's look at the top of our deck. Yes. Another show and tell. Let's put back this show and tell, and then we'll pay for life. Under. This is a guaranteed land five next turn. Okay, I think we keep this. Oh, why did I pay two for Ponder? I don't know what I was thinking there. Whoops. We'll pass. Is this just lethal? Uh, yeah, if the... It is... No, I go to one. Counting is tough. But they did reveal swords to plowshares for the Atroxa. Do you have another way to throw me off balance here? No. Play the Beseju. Dream Halls, cast one with the multiverse, discard a show and tell. Okay, so that is resolved. We will play an Apex Devastator using one with the multiverse. Three mana. Uh, our Apex Devastator actually was cast. Fun fact. I will not cast the show and tell. Apex Devastator again, Dream Halls. Sure, we'll play that. I am actually casting these cards, by the way. And now Atroxa. Triggers. Grab another Apex Devastator. Dress down. A random land. Grossing Grip. Turn Timber Symbiosis. Okay. And now the Devastator happens. We can cast the Ponder. Do I want to, though? I think I'd rather cast this using Dream Halls. We'll discard the Turn Timber. Cast Ponder. I'm going to Shuffle. I don't really need any of those. No, I don't want to cast Show and Tell. Another Ponder. We'll Shuffle that. 
Brainstorm. Okay. Cast the Brainstorm. Put two lands back on top. We'll cast another copy of Apex Devastator, discarding Crossing Grip. I will not cast Force of Will. Cast another copy of one with the multiverse. Okay. And there's our Maelstrom Wanderer. I've been looking for you this entire time. I would love to play Uro. Thank you. Put a land onto the battlefield. The second Cascade. Another Uro. Okay. No lands to put into the battlefield. And this Cascade will be the third Uro. So we will go from one life all the way up to nine. Or one life all the way up to ten. Gaining nine life. This has been a sweet turn. Okay. Let's cast another Atroxa. Take Atroxa. Land. Brainstorm. Show and tell. Play Lotus Petal. Attempt to go to combat. This is where they should Caracas my Maelstrom Wanderer. And they do. Yeah, I can't cast that in the beginning of combat. So... I guess I will discard a Dream Halls and play this Maelstrom Wanderer. Okay. Let's go to cleanup. So they get to go to the next step of the initiative. So I will lose five life going down to five. Touch of the Spirit Realm. I will pitch cast force, discarding show and tell. But I don't lose a life due to Dream Halls. Swords to Plowshares. Once again, I will pitch cast. Look at that. We are now two and one. We're turning it around. Maybe round one was just a fluke. Let's stick around and try to win the last two. The Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting your own magic events with features such as easy to create event registration for four player and one on one Swiss based games. Event management has never been so simple and it's done on the web. No downloads are required. You can sign up for $5 by visiting eminence.events slash subscribe. All right, we're back for match number four. We're on the draw and this hand doesn't have plans. We can't keep this. OK, so we could keep this. We'd be hoping that our opponent isn't on a blue deck, or they are and don't have a counter spell. It's a little bit awkward, but I think we can try this one. We will put Maelstrom Wanderer on the bottom of our library. The opponent plays Ancient Tomb and a Chalice of the Void on one. That hurts. All right, so now we're hoping that we draw one of our two Ancient Tombs off the top of our deck. That was not it. Okay, we'll play this tapped. Pass the turn. So now Lotus Petal just became our best draw. And they're on Moon Stompy. Draw Mox. Exiling Goblin Rabble Master. Caves of Chaos Adventure. Okay. So yeah, Lotus Petal's still my best draw here. Draw for turn. Okay, so it's a little bit slow, but it is a guaranteed show and tell on turn three. War Boss. They might actually outrace me here. So they're attacking for eight. Maybe if I draw Dream Halls or into the multiverse, we could actually try to win this. So I'm taking eight. I guess there's a silver lining in the fact that next turn they have to attack with the Goblin, and I could block with the Atroxa. And there's the Lotus Petal I wanted previously. So no reason to use the Vista and lose a life. Show and tell. Atroxa, they're going to put in Trinisphere. So actually, Dream Halls are into the multiverse. Ooh, they chose not to put in the Trinisphere? Oh, okay, never mind. It gets exiled. My bad. I thought it went to their hand. Okay, so... Force of Will seems like a pretty easy card to grab here. Dream Halls. Uro. Tropical Island. We can grab the Turn Timber. And that's one of each type. Or so I believe. Play the land. And now we can discard the Uro. And then next turn we can play the Uro. So they can go deeper into the dungeon here. And that would put me to six life. But they're forced to attack with the goblins. Okay. Here's the Undercity bringing them into trap. So once again, I go to six life. They have to attack with at least the Goblin Tokens and the Caves of Chaos Adventure. 
First mirror. I am going to counterspell that. I will go to five life. Okay. The opponent swings out. So you might be saying, why not block the Legion War Boss? It's a little bit weird. So if I block the War Boss, they don't have to attack next turn with the creatures, and I actually want them to attack. So we'll go to blockers. I'm going to clear the 2 2. So I'm taking 10, but gaining 7. I'm at 2. So now we get to go to combat with Vigilance. Wing. Now I steal the initiative. Go grab a basic force for this Uro. Actually, don't play that. Okay, there we go. I need one more card in Graveyard for the Uro. So we will fetch down to 8. Grab the forest. I don't know. We didn't need to grab the forest. Any land would have worked there. Escape Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Triggers. We'll put this forest into play. Two thick creatures on the battlefield. All right, we're going back to combat. They're not conceding, so they might have something here. Swing, swing. So they get to exile the top card of their deck again. It's a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. We'll go to blocks. We'll throw the Uro in front of the Caves of Chaos adventure. They do get to steal the initiative back. So they're likely to draw a card here. And they do venture deeper into the dungeon. And another Caves of Chaos adventure. So this means they get to Throne of the Dead 3. Look at the top 10 cards of their library, I believe it is. You choose a creature, it enters the battlefield. It is 10. And... It enters the battlefield with hexproof until your next turn and three plus one plus one counters. The thing is, this Atroxa is going to kill them, and I don't think they have anything to stop the Atroxa. Boom! Look at us go. Love it. All right, so Kuros and Grip. I really wish that was another Besaju. Um, we can get rid of the Carpet of Flowers and the Veil of Summer. We need one more card to bring in. I don't hate Endurance as a surprise blocker. Let's try that out. Game number two, we're on the draw. Mulligan, no mana. Force of Will, show and tell two lands. And a thick creature. We'll try it. We'll get rid of the Corrosing Grip. Leyline of the Void. Okay, sure. You got it. Draw Mox. Exiles a Rabble Master into another Rabble Master. Well, we're going to attempt to stop that. Looking for basic island. It's an island. Um, let's play this. No pass. Then of the bugbear. Four mana. Case of Chaos Adventurers back. Can I please have one of my two lotus petals off the top? Pretty please. Draw. No. Okay. Snow covered forest. Pass the turn. So now their adventure becomes a 7-5. They attack. Ouch. Chalice of the Void on 1. That's fine. Okay. Can a 10-10 get the job done? Apex Devastator. What is your last card? Another Ley Line. Okay. So they venture deeper. They trap me. I'm at 7. All right, so they play a tapped Shatter Skull. So they could have attacked with Den of the Bugbe Den of the Bugbear here and chose not to. Okay, we draw Uro. So that would bring me up to 10, but our opponent has Lethal on board. Although if I draw a green source with the Uro trigger on the stack, I could besage you the Den of the Bugbear. Seems like pretty slim odds, but here we go. We're going to draw a green land here. Did not happen. All they would have to do is attack out next turn. I think I just have to pass. Maybe I was supposed to play the Besaju? I'm not sure. Because then I could attack next turn. They might just take it. I could grab an island and then Dream Hulse plus like Atroxa if I drew it. Blood Moon. Sure. But that shuts off their Den of the Bugbear. That might have been good for me. I don't know yet. Swing. So no surprise here that they take it. Grab our basic. Show and tell. Dream halls. Pass the turn. This gives us an outside shot of winning. The Caves of Chaos Adventure attacks. We'll go to three. 
and then they get the Undercity back, and they go to Throne of the Dead 3. Another Caves of Chaos adventure. Okay, we need a pretty good draw step. Draw. Another Dream Halls. We can besiege you the Chalice of the Void on 1. And then Miracle Brainstorm is what we're really looking for here. By that, I mean, we want to find like a Troxa or like green card plus Apex Devastator. Something good. Fast Brainstorm. Maelstrom Wanderer. Okay, I need to think this through. So if I put Wanderer on top of the deck, I think that this works. And now we'll cast this. Maelstrom Wanderer. And now we get to Brainstorm. And now... So Brainstorm's the next card, so I can either take a Free Endurance or the Brainstorm. I think I'm supposed to take the Brainstorm and hope to hit another Atroxa. Because I don't think Endurance does anything to change our game. Or they only have one blocker. Hold on, Endurance might be the win. Um, I think Endurance is the win here. They're at 10. This is 5, 3, 10. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, unless my math is off, I believe that this is a win. Fast Endurance. Target them. We just pulled the win out of thin air, I think. Swing out for exactly 10 damage. You're at 10. You can block a 10-10 and then die. The one of Endurance that I boarded in coming up clutch. Here we go. Victory. 3-1. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final round, we're on the draw and I will keep... Herborg... Inquisition... Sure. I don't think it's worth forcing this. Although, uh, a little bit odd today. I've drawn carpet against every non-blue deck. I feel like it's just been very strange. Bye, Brainstorm. We drew Ponder. That was a good one. Let's try to find land number two. We'll grab Tropical and Ponder. Okay, so this does guarantee us land number two. Just kind of clunky, but I think you're supposed to keep it. Two mana for a Dark Confidant. That happens. We'll draw the Forest and play Sylvan Library. Pass the turn. They reveal another Urza Saga. Vespian Stage, so they have Dark Depths combo in their deck. So ideally, I mean, we're about to look at an Uro on top of our deck. In a perfect world, the next two cards underneath, that would be Land 3 and a Show and Tell. They don't attack with Dark Confidant. I appreciate you. Thank you for not attacking. Yes. We found Show and Tell, but we didn't find the third land. Brutal. Okay, so... What to do, what to do. Okay, I think I'm just going to discard the Carpet of Flowers and pass. The Dark Confidant, a.k.a. Robert. The joke there is that Dark Confidant was Bob Mars card. Okay, they're going to make another Construct token before their saga disappears. And they grab Mox Diamond. Okay. They play another Urza's Saga. You can have a map. So that's six damage coming in. Needle, so that would be seven damage coming in, which means I would not be able to keep an extra card. I'm going to let that happen. And they name Wasteland with the Needle. Sure. So now they're attacking for 7. I'll drop to 4 life. And we have to find land 3 here. Or Lotus Petal. The Sylvan trigger on the stack. So we have two looks at that third mana. Yes. We found it. We will put the Ancient Tomb on top. And Atrox on top. Okay. Show and tell. Dream Halls. We'll cast the one with the multiverse, discarding Dream Halls. Play the Atroxa. She'll trigger. Take another Atroxa, the Turn Timber, Brainstorm, Lotus Petal, Basic Forest. 
believe that covers everything. We'll cast an Apex Devastator, discarding Arrow Titan of Nature's Wrath. We'll cast the Show and Tell, put in Atroxa, triggers another Atroxa, Sylvan Library, Ponder, Island, Brainstorm. I believe that's one of each type. Let's brainstorm and discard another. Actually, we'll discard the ponder. Okay, we'll put these two on top. And now we'll cast the turn timber. We'll put the Atroxa in. Mouse from Wanderer on top. I do like that. Ponder, brainstorm, land. Once again, I believe that's one of each type. We'll brainstorm in response to this Devastator trigger. That way we can put the Wanderer back on top. I guess we already had a Wanderer on top. If I was seeing that correctly, I might have just messed that up. Get a few more Cascades in here. No, I will not cast Force of Will. Sure, let's cast a Turn Timber. Grab an arrow. Triggers. Put a Land into play. And with the last Cascade on the stack, I'll cast Brainstorm. Okay, so now we'll cascade away the land into one with the multiverse. And then there's another Apex Devastator underneath it that I can play for free off this other one with the multiverse. Okay. We're down to 18 cards in our deck, which is kind of wild. Another Troxa. Take Devastator, Force of Will, Baracus, Show and Tell. 13 cards left in deck. Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. We'll put the Crocus onto the battlefield. I will not cast Force of Will. Uh, or this Maelstrom Wanderer. I will play another Apex Devastator. Discard Sylvan Library. No. 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 Are those the only two spells left? They have to be. Alright, I think I'm finally okay with going to combat. Swing. That was sweet. All right, we need one more win, and we'll go for one with Dream Halls in Legacy. This deck is so awesome. All right, so Carpet of Flowers comes out, and Veil of Summer definitely coming in here. Take out two copies of Uro. Submit. Game two, we will keep. I mean, we have to survive until turn three without being discarded, but this hand is pretty good. Burning Catacombs. Or a bayou. Didn't make it till turn three. Surprise, surprise. Goodbye, show and tell. You drop a sage, you will play a vista and pass. Vespian stage. Sylvan library. Okay. You've got it. We'll take a draw. A land. Okay. Pass the turn. You might be saying, why not a sage, you? They're sylvan. I don't think that's what this matchup is about. They play a Mox Diamond. Discards a stage. And there's the combo. Okay. They don't know that we have Besage you. Play the forest and pass. So they will copy and they will sacrifice the original copy of Dark Depths. Okay, because the legend rule. And now with this ability on the stack, we will fetch. Grab an island. And we will destroy the Dark Depths. Okay, you do not get a Mirror Lodge token. Okay, so our opponent did not draw any extra cards, and now they've made Black Black. Oh, they're still in their draw step. Now they're passing. What's going on here? Vampire Hex Mage, okay. So they could have Crop Rotation. They could draw. It's a Brainstorm. I'll cast it. They have Crop Rotation. Yeah, the, I mean, that was the concern. I could have held the brainstorm in case I drew in a force of will. But the upside here is if I were to find a way to put dream halls into the play or a show and tell, we could win. So another dream halls. We don't need two of those, so I can put one of these back. And the turn timber. All right, so our out at this point is finding show and tell. We have three of them left. I guess the Caracas too, actually. Brainstorm. Does that do it? No. That does not do it. 
Okay, I was punished for playing the brainstorm, I guess. Game three. The first game three of the league. Let's battle. Keep. We have Veil Summer to protect our show and tell. I am in. Tropical Island, pass the turn. Whoops, apparently I was muted. All right, so we pondered, didn't see anything we needed, and we just passed the turn. We drew Uro off our ponder shuffle. Uh, we're really looking for a blue enchantment for the show and tell. I could put. Mo I, I drew the Lotus Petal for turn, and I could have gone show and tell off of the pedal and played the Wanderer, but I don't think that's good enough in the matchup. Veil of Summer, your thought seeds. We draw Force of Will and Urza's Saga. Draw. Let's attempt a brainstorm. Blue enchantments? No. That was really bad. We'll pass. Kind of regretting uh, not show and telling now. I believe too much in Veil of Summer Brainstorm. Okay, so Saga goes up to two counters. They play a Verdant and another Thought Seize. I think I'm priced into forcing this. And another Thought Seize. Brutal. We're in trouble. I think it's easy to look at this game and just say, like, hey, you should have went turn two show and tell, and you would have won. Maybe that would even be true. But I think that in a, most games against the Dark Depths deck, a Maelstrom Wanderer on turn two isn't enough. Here it probably would have been. Okay, we need a lot of things to go right in order to win this now. Dream Halls, a little odd. Okay, play the enchantment, pass the turn. The opponent looks to be making a construct here, so they do. This has been a long match. Maybe not for you, but there's been a lot of uh, pauses. Our opponent's down to eight minutes on clock. Haywire Might. Yeah, it's pretty good against my Dream Halls. And they use the Haywire Might immediately. One with the multiverse. Pass the turn. Come on, show and tell off the top rope. Let's go. Vampire Hex Mage. They attack for two. I go to 15. Come on, show and tell, please. Brainstorm. So, I mean, this could do it. Show and tell? No. So I think we're supposed to put both of these back on top. Play the Ancient Tomb. Sylvan Library. Pass the turn. And if you have a crop rotation, I'm dead anyway. Doesn't matter. And they do have crop rotation. They grab the Dark Depths, and that will be the league. So we went three and two. That's not bad. I mean, it seems fine. I'll be honest. I think the deck didn't need the Euro Fair plan, but it felt really sweet. Like, this deck was a lot of fun to play. So if you're looking for a really sweet legacy deck, I would recommend giving this a spin. Is it the most competitive thing? I'm not so sure, uh, but it could be with some work. I didn't love the double basic forest, and I think you can go down to one, assuming you're willing to cut the arrow or move the arrows to the sideboard, which is what I would be looking to do personally. But it was a lot of fun to play. Thank you to Leon for the donation deck and your continued support. All that good stuff. And once again, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. Have a great day. Keep storming. And uh, thanks for watching. Hey. Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.